Here at Qualcomm, our engineers use the engineering design process to help them design and create their new inventions. And today, you're going to get to take part in that engineering design process. Step one of the engineering design process is to define a problem. Every new invention starts with some sort of problem that needs to be solved. Talk with your group about what problem you might want to solve. Step two of the engineering design process is to empathize. Empathy is when you put yourself in somebody else's shoes. How does it feel to have that problem? You've defined your problem, you know what that problem is. Now how does it feel for people who have that problem? Maybe your problem is somebody who is blind and is unable to use a typical cell phone. So put yourself in their shoes. The next step in the engineering design process is to brainstorm ideas. At this point, it is crucial that every team member gets to voice their opinion and there are no bad ideas. Everyone has ideas and we want to put all of those forward and really make sure that everybody is contributing. Even if you have some really crazy ideas, sometimes those lead to the best innovations. The next step of the engineering design process is to design a solution. You have probably a bunch of ideas of ways that you could solve this problem, but we want you to land on one that you're gonna move forward with as a team. Design, what does it look like? Maybe you wanna sketch out what the actual thing looks like or what it does, what are its features? What makes it better than what's on the market today? The next step of the engineering design process is build. This is where the fun stuff happens you're gonna actually get to build a prototype or a representation of your new invention. The next step of the engineering design process is test. Once you've got your finished product, you wanna test it and see how it works. Now, this shouldn't be a final test and everything is perfect. After you've tested it, you wanna redesign and then rebuild. This is a constant iterative process, which means you're doing it over and over and over again, testing to see if everything works properly, adding in new features, and making it even more awesome. We want you to use as much time as you can to build your invention and make sure that it's super awesome before you get to the next step. The final step of the engineering design process is to share. We want you to share your invention with others. Maybe that's making a video and posting it on YouTube or Instagram. Maybe it's sharing it with your class. Maybe it's sharing it with your family and with your friends. However it is that you're gonna share your project, make sure that you are talking about your problem and the ways that you use to solve your problem. And although it may not connect to the internet in your prototype, you can share with others how it might connect to the internet and become part of our Internet of Things.